had this idea three or four years ago to create a new type of tow vehicle for wake skating and, and wakeboarding, and uh, that dream has become a reality now. So we are in Slovenia. This was our first time like actually getting to ride behind the drone and uh, use it like in a real world application, like on a river, like in uh, an area that we'd normally just be able to winch. Well, Brian was asking if we are able to build him a huge drone for um, really uh, pulling him wake skating down the river. Yeah, he wanted that it's um, stable and that we can go on a certain speed for the whole time. Normally, if you have a drone, you've got a gimbal or a camera attached to it, which is, you know, it's a stable load. And now we have got like dynamic load changing all the time, like jumping, sliding around, and the environment for the drone changes all the time, but it needs to be stable and staying at same speed, at same power. Yeah, this was basically our biggest challenge. Man, that's so crazy in person. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. Okay. Oh, Brad. That's awesome. So another thing we wanted to do on this project was everything that we rode behind was electric. So we had an electric Harley that we used with a trailer that we put the winch on. So we could actually plug the winch into the motorcycle uh, when we got to the spot, which was super cool. So with the drone now, we're able to go around corners and basically go anywhere we want to go. We just tried to find some zones that we could really showcase, you know, riding behind the drone and uh, also did a little winching while we were here too. Where a winch, you can only go on a straight line like I was able to transfer onto the drone and then go down the river the other way. Yeah, this location is beautiful. I mean, uh, it's super shallow, it's all rocks. Everything in here is pretty narrow, there's trees everywhere, so every shot that we had to set up, we really had to plan out exactly what we wanted to do. One of the cool things that we had set up on, on this project, just so that I could communicate with, uh, with the pilot, is we were using like a two-way Bluetooth, like a walkie-talkie system, and uh, we could really communicate exactly what we wanted to do. We were actually be able to like do like a loop with the drone and go around it and then go back the other way. So it really opens up the doors for us being able to ride anywhere now. Crazy. Nice guys. <laughs> of course, we discussed everything in detail before, but you know, everything changes as you're running. thrilling moment for me of course was which you know um, you could not take off with the drone or you could not start with Brian but because you don't have the power if you fly too low you need to um, go higher to have full power of the drone and then really just before the bridge we went down and used our power and slide it um, through the bridge and then went up again to get full power again We really wanted to really push the limits on what we could do with the drone, so really just trying to show people, you know, what we could what we could do with it, and this is just the beginning. <laughs> pretty pretty out of this world, man. It's the future, man, for sure. 